Y'all, welcome to another edition of XTV. This is going to be another tutorial focused episode. For this episode, we are watching a POV demo of myself, Eckstein, playing medic for my team, the Space Whales, against Just for Fame and the previous season's ESEA 6 Open Playoffs. Now, why this map, you might say? Why this match? Because it's the only playoff map I've played in. Uh, and um, I don't get to play with my team so much, so really, this is only my. Uh, my first uh, really truly league competitive match and the only one I got to show off. So uh, I'm going to be criticizing my own play and um, just kind of talk about what's going on. Also, real quick here, point out that there is a graphical bug going on. All of the overhealed players are on fire. That's because it's an older demo, but thankfully Valve has fixed the problems here. So pointing out here, Boomer, my solely, my pocket is up there and he's telling me to jump up here. Like I said, I don't get to play too much, so I'm totally screwing this jump up. In the end, it, it hurts us quite a bit, because as we head over here, he's fully healed, but we've kind of gotten into position a little bit late, and um, I'm going to end up getting punished as a bastard samurai jumps over the top and uh, kills me. Actually, it was Zep, their demo man. Now, just for fame, they've kind of uh, reformed, and um, uh, they have a, a different ro roster now, and uh, I think they're playing in uh, Sivo Professional. So, I spawn with both my soldiers here. I'm um, just trying to heal them both up. Z Brian is more of the roamer, so I'm trying to focus him a little bit more on first. So, since Boomer's going to stick around, their soldier's jumping in, and uh, we fend him off. Now, I don't have the mumble recordings, so it would be a little confusing to listen to all three at once. Um, but you, you won't be able to hear my team warning me, but they're obviously they warned me. So, I'm trying to buff the scout, do a good job of buffing the scout there as he gets out. And uh, now just keep my team alive. We're just holding back here, building the Uber, um, the way that cough works. Um, and uh, Viaduct, I'm also glad that I could do this map because it's kind of a weird map. It's a different format. Um, you have to hold the center point for three minutes each. But, you know, we've already taken a good chunk of time off, and now they're running it down for three minutes. But once we get our Uber, then we're going to push in, so we're just hanging back. Also, Namle, who's running the sniper over there, I'm keeping his black dynamite in-game. I'm keeping him healed up um, and buffed, and he took out the other team's sniper. But I'm still a little worried as we head out here. So I'm, I'm doing a pretty good job of spreading the heals. You can see everybody's caught on fire. Uh, it's a fun little bug for this demonstration because it does really show who's um, overbuffed. Actually, you do have some slow motion here. I forgot about it for a second there. Um, otherwise, I would have shown that uh, when their soldier was coming in. I cut it really close with that Uber. And um, I probably should have Ubered a little bit earlier than that, because you see I only have 50 health. And I was getting peaked by the sniper. Um, he got me with a nice headshot, uh, although I only had 50 health, so he probably could have just body shot at me. And Viaduct is a dangerous map because of the snipers, um, and uh, the medic is very vulnerable. So you'll certainly see that I'm going to react to that and start uh, hide behind the rocks, basically. Uh, the cough format, like I said, is... Uh, a little bit different from regular uh, 5v5, uh, but it's, or sorry, the 5 capture point, 6v6, uh, but it's, um, it's it's fun, it's, it's a good thing that they introduced in the competitive um, formats, competitive leagues, although you also see it sometimes in the pubs. So definitely right here, I'm just chilling back behind this rock, and we're just building up. We have control of the point, so we don't need to be um, too far forward. Uh, I'm speeding up a little bit as we just hit some slow spots. Uh, but I got 6% Uber, and you see most of my team is overlit. I'm catching the scouts as they're coming back. Uh, it takes me a second to get my heels onto them. And uh, I took a, a couple rollers, but we're still in pretty good position here. Now, Z Brian just barely gets back to me, healing him up. And uh, we have the charge. So we're in a great position in this round. There's only a minute left. Now they're getting aggressive onto me. Um, I pop, you know, maybe a little bit. Um, but uh, just on the safe side, just being really safe with my Ubers, I usually try to risk it a little too much. So um, in this game, I just really trying to make sure I popped early. Pop, don't drop it. Now Boomer coming in here with me, and uh, we're just trying to get a presence on the point. And I'm trying to get forward to uh, push the other guys uh, uh, backwards. And actually, in this game, uh, <laughs> we're playing against Fell Razors, the other team's medic, who is now the medic for uh, Space Whales. Uh, so. Their team's getting really aggressive on me, jumping on me. They know they really don't have much of a chance, but they committed quite a bit to attacking me. Um, they took took me out, and, but uh, we're doing okay here. We just need to 
blocked point. But uh, see, even though they captured it, um, we have overtime on our clock, so we just need to recapture it, and we're gonna be fine. And um, so, plenty of time. Blaze getting aggressive, going away. And I come back here and get Z Brian real quick. I'm trying to stay with him. Unfortunately, get a little disconnected. And uh, I just decided not to risk it and back out of there. But with Foreign up there, I'm, he's Z Brian's calling me forward, I'm trying to get back up there. But also, you can see Lansky is getting another snipe, so there's snipers active, and I'm just trying to stay back while my soldiers deal with the sniper, or at least to scare him off. Then we move forward and take position. And uh, now they're going to just, they have to stop us, otherwise we win this round. So they're just going to throw everything at us. I'm at 92%, and I just barely saved Blaze there. Uh, MPJ, nickname's Blaze. Uh, he had like two health when I got to him. MVP. So we'll watch me uh, on this rollout here. I don't have Blaze all the way healed because I know he's... Um, actually, no, I should have just been healing him earlier. It's really crucial that you get the... Um, demo up to 260 right right by the mid and he's heading back by the rock so I get him at 260 finally but um, and it looks like both my soldiers went down and my one of my scouts went down so we're in a very bad position we're starting to back out and uh, just hiding in the corner here excuse me um, so we actually just back up all the way and just wait for our team to respawn there's no point in risking the uber with that many players down on viaduct and so they're coming aggressive. They know I don't have it, and they get it on me. But I grab the health pack in the midst of it. Pretty good dodge in there. Um, you know, playing medic competitively, and even in pubs, it's just all about gets crazy dodging. So my team is pretty pretty hurt. I, I heal Z Brian a little first since MPJ was waiting for the uh, med pack, and then I um, hook MPJ up with the buff. We've got both my soldiers and my demo buffed, and we have Uber, so we're getting really aggressive. Dodge a close pipe there. Healing four and slow it down if we get some action going on. So they've already got the Uber, um, and they're coming out. Of Z Brian is very lit. He's on the equalizer right now, and he switches back finally, and I catch him. And MPJ is there. I'm making sure he's okay on health, but um, run back to save him with 11. He's getting a little dangerous on the point, and uh, now my team is pretty lit up. I'm not sure how many players we have up. But uh, we're, we're definitely falling back here, low on the Uber. Just kind of reforming. You know, you really got to try and minimize your time in between when you can effect, uh, attack effectively. Um, it's kind of like Gravel Pit, you know, when you're you're racing a clock, so you can't, can't waste time. You can't do things that will slow you down. You can't take risks that, that won't pay off. So we're doing good, pressuring forward. They're coming at me again. Um, just trying to attack me before I get the Uber, but it's just kind of a suicide move. And uh, we're just keeping a good presence. You see I keep healing the scouts up before they run off. Um, we're pretty much running one scout, one sniper this whole map, so definitely trying to um, keep foreign up to full heals. 